All right, it's Halloween again. Congratulations, we made it. When I was a little kid, Halloween was my favorite holiday. I think it's that way for most children. I think children love candy and monsters. Then you get a little older and you start to realize that Thanksgiving comes with gravy and stuffing and you get to watch your aunts get drunk and argue with your babysitter. Then Christmas gets better, you get a week off of school. If you're not in school, you get to go home, visit your family. That lasts all the way to New Year's where they're handing out champagne and kisses. Suddenly Halloween goes from top three to not mentioned at all. But then, in your 30s, you hit yet another transformation where you have no money at all. And Christmas goes from presents and a week off school to having to spend the money you don't have on gifts and plane tickets to visit drunk aunts and babysitters. And you spend the first half of your week saying hi to everyone and the second half of your week saying bye to everyone. And by the time it's all over, you need a vacation from your vacation. Suddenly, monsters and candy and Halloween don't sound so bad. And on that note, this Halloween, I wanted to talk about something I've always found frightening, which is other people. Talking to other people. I never had any luck talking to people. I never know what to talk to them about. When I was younger, I talked to my babysitter about how I didn't know how to talk to people, and she told me that whenever I was talking to anyone, I should pretend that I'm Jay-Z. I say, Jay-Z the rapper? She said, yes, absolutely. I said, okay. And why would I do that? She said, because Jay-Z is uglier than shit. And he married Beyonce. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. And it's all because he never let anything shake his confidence. And I knew that she was right. And I knew that she thought I was ugly. And I internalized all of that and built my entire personality around it. Every time I walk into a room, I pretend I'm Jay-Z. In fact, this Halloween, I'm going to go to work as Jay-Z for my costume. That way everyone will know how confident I am. Plus, they'll fire me. I'll never have to go back. Work is the number one place where I struggle to talk to people. I even struggled to talk to Bush, and he's the easiest guy in the world to talk to. Bush is a guy from Mississippi who has one of those thick Mississippi accents like Boomhauer, where every word that he says sort of turns into one word, you know? The other day, I, I, I said, how you doing, Bush? Bush said, pretty good, man. How you doing? I want very badly to be friends with this man, Bush, but we never know what to talk about. I asked him if he likes music, TV, or basketball. He said, no. I said, Bush, what do you like to do when you get home? Bush said, cars, porn, online gambling. I said, that's cool. I could get into cars, but I haven't been able to. I feel like you, you need to have money to get into cars, and I don't have any money. So instead, we just gamble. I said, Bush, I'll bet you 100 bucks you won't come to work for Halloween dressed as Jay-Z. He said, who's that? I said, wow, you're really not into music. I won the bet, but what would have been better still is if we could have found something to talk about. We still haven't. But it was Halloween today, and we were both celebrating at the restaurant where we work. I was dressed as Jay-Z, he was dressed as Goku, which is sort of as bad as dressing up as Jay-Z, but a little different. And today I walked past the table where two couples were seated. Two couples were breaking bread for two hours, and in all that time, all they talked about was what they were watching on television. They were watching that new Ryan Murphy, Jeffrey Dahmer show that just came out. So they were talking all about Jeffrey Dahmer. They asked me if I was watching the Jeffrey Dahmer show, and I said no, because Jeffrey Dahmer was a serial killer. I don't want to deal with serial killers in my leisure time. Serial killers have to come to me. Then I left their table, and I walked up to Bush. I said, hey, Bush, are you watching the new Jeffrey Dahmer show on Netflix where it streams? He said, fuck no, I'm not watching that evil shit. And I agreed, and I made that same joke, which I just made to you about serial killers in my leisure time. But Bush blew right past me. And he said, yeah, man, I'm not into that evil shit. I probably hate him most of all on account one of my best friends was killed by one of them evil fucks. I said, Bush, what? He said, yeah, man, fucking Baton Rouge Strangler. I said, Bush, holy shit. I am so sorry. Yeah, man, fucking, she came home one day, fucking, he was already there. 
And this was the worst person it could have happened to on account of this girl was so sweet, man. And then Sarah, this 19-year-old girl we worked with, she walked up to the bar and Bush said, It'd be like if it happened to her. And that's sad. It would be very sad if that happened to Sarah. Baton Rouge Strangler. I wonder if he was ever caught. I have an aunt who lives down there. Another suspect. I used to love stuff like that. I used to love stuff about Jeffrey Dahmer back when I loved monsters and candy. I think most children who grew up in the shadow of the internet had a week where they looked up all the serial killers and memorized their Wikipedia pages. I know I did. I learned about John Wayne Gacy's clown makeup, and I showed all of my friends that picture of him standing next to Nancy Reagan with the clearance pin from the CIA. Back when I thought that might be something interesting to talk about. I actually o owned an original copy of Durf Back Durf's original uh, one-shot comic book of my friend Dahmer. It's probably the most expensive comic book that I own now. I got it for $10. That sounds like I'm bragging. I'm not bragging. I, just, I got it for $10. But I love that shit. I loved it because it was violent. And as a kid, I didn't see how the violence in that comic book was different from the violence that I was watching on Dragon Ball Z, you know? Dragon Ball Z, The Punisher, even Batman, all of it was so violent and so dark in a way that had a really profound and negative impact on my person. Not positive like Jay-Z. I remember that episode of Dragon Ball Z with a man who could... You know, like the alien who could steal people's bodies got shot through the chest. Goku did that with a laser beam. He's the hero. And the aliens just crawled around for days afterwards with a hole in his chest. Like, ow! There's a hole in my chest. And that didn't seem strange to me. I was a child. I never had a hole in my chest. No one had punctured me in any way. Not yet. Then later, my babysitter had this older sister, who was probably the nicest girl you ever met in your entire life. And tragically, she was stabbed to death by her own boyfriend. It was a tragedy that like rocked our community, rocked the family. And I remember being little enough to think, you know, how could just a knife do that? You know? Because I was living in a world where you could get last, blasted through the chest with a laser beam and still keep pimping around after that, but no. I don't know. I guess that just, uh, that's macabre. <laughs> but it's true. And serial killers just seemed macabre to me after that. It seemed like something I wasn't necessarily interested in. Sounds like Bush had a similar experience, and perhaps that is something that we could relate to, but it's still not something we can really talk about. That's the tricky thing about talking to people. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe next Halloween. I have a couple really exciting projects coming out. Um, Exciting for me. I hope they're exciting for you. I hope they excite you, you know? It's hard to do these things all the time, and it's much harder if they don't excite you. Perhaps impossible. But Ranch Root is upon us. My new project, Ranch Root, is coming out on October 20th. If you love monsters and you love Taco Bell and you love turnip then this is the one. I hope, we all, all, I hope we all try to watch it. I hope we all try to watch out for one another. It's a scary world. Happy Halloween! Please like and subscribe.